Okay, in this video we're going to talk about how to record motion in your uh, assembly here so that you can pass on an AVI file to anyone that needs to see how the part is going to function or I say the assembly is going to function. So what we're going to do is we're going to drive a constraint here. So the way I have this set up is I'm using uh, this angle constraint. I'm going to go ahead and right click on it and hit drive. And the first thing I want to do is just ensure that things are going to move in the correct way that I want it to move. So I'm going to go ahead and hit play on this and you can see that it went down and around. Uh, it's not really the way I want it to move, but let's take it back. And as you can see now, it's going to function the way I want to. So it needed to get into the proper position, what would be my start and end. Here my end position or my start position here is at zero, zero. And then when I actually take it the other direction, it takes it back to that negative 180. So that's really the motion that I want. So now that I have truly established the two positions and it knows how it's going to move, this is when I can start to use this record button. Now, when you want to do this, uh, you want to make sure you open up these two little arrows here because what we want to do is we want to adjust a few things down here. The default uh, correctly, uh, the default coming out of Inventor right now is that this is set to one degree. So this means that it's going to uh, make a video recording of one degree per increment of video time. You want to up this. If not, it will be painstakingly slow. So go ahead and take this from one to three and it'll speed it up just a little bit. You don't want to make this thing super fast, uh, but just a little faster. So with that set up in position again, let's just double check that we're going to move in the right direction. We're moving in the right direction. Then what we're going to do is make sure this is also checked minimize dialog during recording. That's going to let us know that it's recording when this dialog disappears to the bottom of the screen here. Uh, it's recording and then it'll pop back up. All right. The other thing we want to do is over here in repetitions, we want to see this thing start, meaning start and open, go to the end position, then we want to see it come back. So we want to have a start and start. So I think the default is set up here on start and just click on start and start and that'll take care of that. All right, so with that set up in position, we're going to hit this record button right here and the record button is going to then ask, well, where are we going to save it? Well, again, everything is going to that desktop, to that lockout box folder. Um, so I'm going to go to my desktop, I'm going to go to my mechanical folder, go to my lockout box, and I'm going to then pull down the file save type first. Right now, it's set as a default to WMV. I don't want that. I want an AVI file. You can see I've done this here before just to test this to make sure it's working. And I'm going to rename mine. So it's going to be called lockout box, and I'll call this uh, two just because I've done this twice, but you can just call yours lockout box AVI and I'm going to hit save. Now it says here video compression. I've always used full frames uncompressed, never had an issue. So go ahead and try that out. There are other file formats, never played with them. So use that hit. Okay. And then when you hit play here, I should say record, not play. You're going to hit record here. Uh, or I'm sorry, not record. You are going to hit play here. When you hit play here, it's going to move to the uh, position and then it's going to minimize this dialog box. So the dialog box minimize and then it's at recorded. Now the dialog box pops back up. I'm going to hit this play again, but in reverse, then it's going to close. Okay. Then it pops back up. Now I'm going to hit it one more time. It's going to open back up. Then I hit OK because that's my start and stop. So then I hit OK. Now I can go in and go find that video that I just made. This is in the desktop mechanical lockout box folder. There it is lockout box two. So we're going to go ahead and open this up and you can see it's opening up. It's still moving kind of slow, but it's not 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 horrible. And then it's going to close back up here. And then it should open back up again because I've asked it to do this just so we can see the motion back and forth and back and forth. Now, if yours goes ahead and opens and closes and opens, that's fine. But the big thing is that I want to be able to see that motion and that you have properly created that AVI file. It's this AVI file that you're going to save to your Google uh, Drive after it's on your desktop. So upload this file to your Google Drive and then submit the link to your Google Drive. That's what we're going to be able to take a look at. All right. Hope this helps you record your motion in Inventor. 